My name is Mathieu and I'm a French experimental photographer. I have been living in Paris my entire life, but I realized that I never really captured the Eiffel Tower in an original way. And that's when a weird idea came to me. Could I turn a Parisian apartment into a giant camera? My plan was to create a reversed camera obscura inside a Parisian apartment and record the results with my digital camera to make a time-lapse video. A camera obscura is an ancient optical device that projects an upside-down image of the external world onto an interior surface. And it played a significant role in the history and development of both painting and photography. If you go inside a darkened room with a small hole on one side, you will witness that when light enters through the hole, it projects an upside-down image of the outside scene onto a surface. Actually, I created a camera obscura in the past, but the upside-down projection was frustrating and I felt I could do better. First, I need to find a way to switch the image to be in the right orientation. And second, I need to find a location with a perfect view, and this is going to be a nightmare. I started researching the best way to fix these problems, and I found this, the Bonfanton Up, the only lens in the world capable of creating a reverse camera obscura. It's made by a small company in Finland, so I had to take a chance and ask them if they wanted to participate to my experiment. This weird lens is really incredible. It can focus up to 4 meters and with the help of internal mirrors, it can flip the projection to put your camera obscura in the right orientation. So now that I have the lens, I need the location. I want to have the most famous landmark of France in the middle of my framing. So I need to find a room with a perfect view just in front of the Eiffel Tower. I asked for help to my followers on Instagram, but after more than a week, I had no answers. And for a good reason. You see, most Parisian apartments don't have a view on anything, and most of the people who have a view on the Eiffel Tower have a side view of it, or from very far. I started looking for hotel rooms with a view. So many hotels offer stunning views of the Eiffel Tower. But when you book a room, you can't be sure that you will get exactly this room. And I was not going to take the risk. I started searching on Airbnb. Every room with a view had a problem. No white walls, side view of the Eiffel Tower, until I saw this listing. The size of the window was perfect. They already looked like a camera lens. And when I saw the view from the sixth floor, I found the perfect place. I asked the owner if he was okay with me doing an experiment. And after I said yes, I made a reservation and got everything ready. Two weeks later, I arrived in front of the Eiffel Tower with all my gear. So many people were there to capture a souvenir and had to share the space to actually get the exact same photo. But I was going to have the tower just for myself. When I arrived at the place, I had to climb to the sixth floor using a terrifying staircase. Finally, I discovered the apartment and the incredible view. I had a few hours to create the camera obscura. To make a camera obscura, you will need a knife, a wide-angle lens, tin foil, a 50mm lens, gaffer tape, spray water, scissors, and of course the Bonfanton lens. Spraying water acts as a glue and keeps the tin foil on the window. blocking 100% of the light. I used the cutting shape to create a hole for the lens. When I turned back, I saw the first result. I was happy it worked, but I was not really satisfied. 
I saw that we had a problem with the brown cabinet, and also that the front door was too deep. So, I tried to add a white sheet to reduce the deformation. We had a first result, but the room was not perfect. I started to feel I didn't pick the right place after all. I went to the bedroom to grab something in my backpack. And I realized that it would work way better even if the room was smaller. I used my tripod bag to block any light from under the door. I installed the lens again and this time I was blown away when I saw the image behind me. Installing the lens and shooting time lapses takes a lot of time, and the day was quickly passing by. I went out to grab some food and saw that the sun was starting to set, so I ran as fast as I could and almost fell down the stairs. I had just enough time to catch one last photo before the sun was gone. The next morning, I woke up very early and took the time to appreciate the most touristic place in Paris with almost no one in it. Before leaving the apartment, I had the time to shoot a few more time lapses. And these last ones were my favorites. This project was a real challenge. It made me feel you can create magical images with a minimal amount of gear, but a huge amount of efforts and creativity. I will never look at the Eiffel Tower the same way now that I captured it with a giant camera obscura. <laughs> <laughs>